Let me tell you something you already know. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. In this video, I want to talk about training devices. Are they helpful or are we wasting our time? And also, I want to talk about being in a hitting rut. What we can do to get ourselves out of a hitting rut. Training devices. They're used to help the hitter to create a pattern that's going to help him hit better. For instance, um, launch angles and using these TrackMan devices or the latest craze with these hit tracks where you sit up in your batting cages and you can watch balls get bombed on a, on a video screen. Devices that are going to help you pick up the ball earlier in a flight path or devices that are going to uh, help you to keep your shoulder in, help you to keep your elbow in the slot. Devices to help you keep you from overstriding. I mean, basically, if you have a problem, there's a, a device that's going to help you fix your problem. Well, here's the problem that I find with devices. They tend to lead the hitter to not to think about correcting the issue. This device will think for you. And more than you may realize it, going to home plate and not thinking is going to create an even bigger problem. You see, we're told that these training devices are helping to program a new pattern, a new technique, a new way of doing it to alter the brain from doing it an old way into a new and improved way. It looks great on the surface and it's fun to use in the batting cage. They're fun to use in a controlled environment on a simple batting practice on the field and it's great to see the results. But here's the problem. When you go to the game, that pitcher's trying to get you out. And that training device is helping me pick up the ball early in the flight path. Or that training device is helping me um, get my elbow in or get my knee in this, in this back slot underneath my shoulder. Or that device helping me from not overstriding. Mm, it's not really working too well for anymore. You see, the old adage when I was a player and started to be coach was, if you want to create a new habit, you have to do that habit for 30 days or you need, you need to do that habit for like 3,000 times. I don't know about you, but I don't have time to wait for 30 days to get better and I don't have time to do it 3,000 times. So how do you actually improve your hitting? You have to think. Which leads me to my next point, getting out of the hitting rut. What do you need to think about? You need to think about your timing. You know, a hitter can change his timing from pitch to pitch. Now, I'm not talking about the basic timing elements like get your foot down or when a pitcher shows me his hip, I'll show him my hip. Now, this is much more sophisticated and innovative and progressive than the simple little drills. You see, what's really at the core of any hitting rut is the hitter's timing. And when you unfold and open up this core that we call hitting, you're going to find that hitters are timing their vision, their adrenaline, their hitting model, and their hitting tempo, all to the pitcher's common denominator. And the common denominator is not the pitcher's release point. If you're timing the pitcher's release point, it's too late. Sometimes our hitters are standing on home plate with this kind of concept, okay? Pitcher, you're gonna throw the ball to me when I tell you to throw it. Okay, so get ready, pitcher. Okay, now get ready. Get ready to throw the ball now. See, it doesn't work that way. See, I'm timing the pitcher. The pitcher doesn't time me. How about this? Why don't good hitters get into hitting ruts? And if they do get into a hitting rut, it usually isn't very long. This is what I really believe from doing thousands and thousands of, of hours in the, the batting cage laboratory and the field laboratory and game laboratory. And it's this, when good hitters are, good, are hitting good, what are they doing different than what the bad hitters don't do? I really believe it really rests inside timing your vision. Timing the vision isn't the whole formula. It's a big part of it, a major part of it. Then you have to time your adrenaline, you time your hitting model, and then you time your hitting tempo, all to the pitcher's common denominator. 
when you learn how to time your vision, you learn how to actually pay attention more to the ball. You see, and that's where it goes back to thinking at home plate. When I'm at home plate, and here's a simple hitting tip. I am constantly thinking about the baseball or the softball when I, while I'm in the batter's box in the game. But here's the hitting tip. I'm constantly thinking about where the ball is now and where the ball will be next. And so behind that or underneath that is the unfolding of the other elements of the adrenaline, your hitting model, getting into that hitting position and timing your tempo to the pitcher's tempo. There are so many things and, and the key to good coaching or good coaching yourself or talking to a teammate about is finding the core issue. The one thing that fixes five, don't coach the symptom. And so finding the core is the whole key to, to fixing a lot of things at once compared to looking at the symptom. So the, the worst coaches in the world coach what you do wrong. Good coaches tell you what to do right. Great coaches, the master coach, finds that one thing that fixes everything. Great coaches, the master coach, finds that one thing that fixes everything. Timing. Timing is that one thing that fixes everything. It helps you to get out of your hitting slumps and hitting ruts. When you understand the patterns and the techniques that are behind timing, you're gonna start hitting better sooner than later. Learning how to think at home plate and learning how to get out of a hitting rut, it begins with one of my video series, the best hitting drill ever, third edition, but I highly recommend the fourth edition. When you're really ambitious and you wanna go ahead and push forward and make that, that big investment and you realize that you wanna be as good as you can be while you're still young and while you still have value to a program and maybe you know get to be a player that plays at a higher level, then make the investment into the world's greatest hitting formula. Let's help our kids to be as good as they can be while they're still young. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. May the Lord bless you.